walkouts. So I'm going to show two different variations here depending on your core stability or you're just looking or your overall level of difficulty. So the first variation is going to be from the knees and then we can progress that by coming up to a straight leg. So we're going to start with those walkouts. We're on the knees, toes are dug in, and we're starting at almost a little bit of an angle. Like we're starting kind of from a knee push up. We don't want to be starting like way back here. Hips are driven through and we're going to walk our hands out pretty much as far as we can without the hips dropping through. But let's start with just three steps with each hand. So we're here, one, two, three, and then bring it back, one, two, three. Make sure that when we do that, the hips and the shoulders pretty much stay in a straight line. We're not losing the hips as we reach. If we're losing the hips, then we're totally negating the entire point of this exercise. So if you are losing the hips, don't force it going further, just control it. Go as far as you can control, even if that means that you're only going like three inches, that's fine. That's more important. Keeping the core locked in is more important than how far you can go. On the flip side, if you're able to do that pretty much without much difficulty, then what we're gonna do from there is actually straighten the legs out and go from that walk, uh, that long push-up hold or high plank position. Walking out, one, two, three, bring it back in, two, Three, again, making sure those hips don't fall through. We keep the hips in line with the shoulders the entire time. If you're able to, walk, it, walk your hands out a little bit further. The further you walk the hands, the harder that exercise is gonna be. So that is walkouts.